today's episode, Moochie's Escape. dairy farm like this. Boy, you've got to work hard at anything if you want to get anywhere. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Sammy, come on over here. I want to show you something. This is Hannah's house. Well, who's Hannah? She's Mochi's 4-H hand. She's a bandy. She lays bandy eggs, too. <laughs> well, that figures. Hey, I didn't know you were old enough to belong to 4-H club. He isn't really. He's just practicing on Hannah till he gets old enough. Hey, where is the old girl? I guess she went out for a walk. What's the idea of leaving the door open so she can go wandering all over the place? You better find her. Come on, Sammy. Here, Hannah! Here, Hannah! Here, Hannah! Here, Hannah! Where are you, Hannah? Here, Hannah! Here, Hannah! <laughs> a whopper. Why do they have silos on farms? To keep the silage in. Silage? That's the cow's food. Chopped up hay and stuff. The silo preserves and cures it. Cures it? What's the matter? Is it sick? <laughs> <laughs> sure would be if we didn't handle it right. It'd spoil. by King Ormsby Homestead, and King is a champion. Boy, this stall's in better shape than my bedroom at home. We have to change the bedding every day to keep them clean. They're so greedy, they nibble everything in sight. Yeah, just like Moochie, always stuffing. I don't need my bedding, do I, Linda? Of course not, Moochie. Jimmy's just teasing. Would you like to feed one, Annette? Oh, I'd love to. You can feed this one. Which one is that one, Linda? That's Pop. Okay, I'll feed him. All right, Junior. Come and get it for us. Throw it down the drain. Mm. Boy, they sure do a good job on that chow. We have to be awfully careful not to overfeed him. It's no sense raising calves. More goofy things can happen to them, especially in their first month. 
Like puppies, huh? Yeah, only worse. But if you can get them past the first three months, you've got a pretty good chance of winding up with a real milk cow. Well, what if they're boy cows? You mean bulls? Flop is one. What are you going to do with them? We'll show them at the county fair in September. We'll probably sell Plop when he gets big enough. We should get a fancy price for him, too. For a little runt like that? He's no runt. He's a purebred Holstein. For Pete's sake, are you going to stand here and yak all day, or are we going to go do the other chores? Ah, keep your shirt on till we finish feeding the calves. <laughs> to meet my little friends here from Hollywood. This is Annette, and this is Sammy, Polly. Hi, Polly. Hi, kids. Polly, Annette, and Sammy are Disney Mouseketeers. Mouseketeers? Well, well, what do you know about that? Well, not exactly. Annette's a Mouseketeer. I'm just one of the Spin and Marty Triple R boys. Annette and Sammy have got an idea they'd like to go in the milk business when they grow up, and Linda and Jimmy are giving them some pointers. Well, that's fine, that's fine. I'm helping, too, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna need all the help we can get. Yeah. Well, Polly, I guess we better get to it, huh? Yeah, yeah. We got plenty of work to do. Bye, Polly. See you later, Polly. Bye, kids. Mm -hmm. think of the dairy farm so far? I'll say one thing. The food's great. It's wonderful out here in the country. Everything's so fresh and green and pretty, and there's so many things to see and do. <laughs> you can say that again, Annette. Especially the do. Hey, Mom? You bet. Mm -hmm. Annette, you think you'd rather be a dairy farmer than a mouseketeer? Well, it's kind of fun being a mouseketeer. We can't be mouseketeers, Annette, but... We do have all of the things that you folks in the city enjoy. Radio, TV, good schools, churches, movies, and neighbors. And cows. And cows. <laughs> What's the matter, Moochie? We haven't heard a word out of you. Will you keep telling me not to talk with my mouth full? That's right, dear. I forgot. Sammy, want to see Romeo? Romeo? Well, who's he? Hannah's husband? Gosh, no. He's our bull, and he's a real tough guy. <laughs> there he is. Ain't he a tough-looking guy? Gee, he is kind of. 
a mean looking, isn't he? Cassie's a little depressed. We've only had him a couple of days, and he's not used to it here yet. Most animals get upset when they're moved, especially cows. And bulls, too. What's the matter, tough guy? You homesick? You know something, Sammy? I don't think he likes you. You may be right, Moochie. Oh, he's just a little temperamental. They get peevish once in a while, just like people do. You gotta kind of cater to them. That is, if you want to keep them healthy and happy. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> That's a funny name for a bull. Oh, how'd you come to name him that? Mom named him. You know that bit in Shakespeare? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. He sure looks lonesome. <laughs> oh, he's got plenty of Juliets. About 40 of them. There they are now, coming in from the pasture. You mean all those are his girls? Sure. On a dairy farm, the cows are half the herd, the bulls the other half. Next episode, The Trouble with Pigs.